Hey Warriors, what's up? My name is Miss Strip Matter. I teach eighth grade ELAR. If you want to know a little bit more about me, you can always scroll down to the video right below this one. Um, it's about three and a half minutes, just about why I teach and who I am. So I'm not, you know, just some random stranger talking to you from the computer. Um, okay, so I want to show you with this video just a little bit about how to navigate this course on campus. I know there's a lot of these videos on all of your courses right now, but every course is just a little bit different. So we wanna make sure that you're really comfortable with knowing how to navigate um, and get around the courses that you'll have. So the first thing I want you to know is this is what you'll see. So if you see this cool like pink purple frame around my screen, that's because I'm in student view mode, which is pretty sweet. You don't wanna see my teacher mode. It's a hot mess. There's buttons everywhere. I'll show you someday if I'm feeling particularly stressed out. Anyway, um, so on yours, these are going to be your options you have over here on the left for now. This is our homepage that you're on right now. Congratulations, you found that. Um, and modules are going to be where all of your daily learning stuff takes place. We're going to look at that in depth in just a minute. Um, grades, I want you to ignore this for right now. What I want you to look at for your grades are going to be what shows up in Skyward. Skyward is going to be the place to check your grades. This button grades and Skyward grades are not always going to match up, which kind of stinks. So for right now, I'm going to leave this here, um, but really don't, don't use this right now. Google Drive is exactly what it looks like. You're going to click on that link if you want to go to Google Drive, which you're actually going to be doing like several times a week uh, because a lot of our assignments are going to be done in our Reader's Writer's Notebook, which we're going to set up together on Wednesday. Um, we got a whole lesson just to get that sucker set up. All of our journals are going to be done online this year, and I'm really excited about it. Okay, so let's scroll down. Let's check out this homepage. Come on a journey with me. Sorry, I'm kind of cheesy sometimes. <laughs> so we're going to scroll down, and I already, we already talked. This video that I'm showing you right now will be here. Here's the About Me video. If you keep scrolling, this is going to be your course, like, buttons that you can find everything on. So contact Miss Strip Matter, parents and students. If you click on this link, you'll find my email, my phone number. Sometimes there's going to be Zoom information, um, all that good stuff. Underneath that are course resources. And I'm actually going to click on this one to show you what's going on here. So course resources are going to be links to any other websites or apps that we're going to be using. So the good news is you will never have to go to this unless I specifically ask you to go to this. And I'll give you a reminder about how to go to this uh, in a very specific lesson. These resources are here to use with lessons. Um, you're not really going to want to jump into our textbook just for fun or to the reading screener just for fun. The one source that you can go into anytime is Sora, and that's our online library where you can download just using your login information for free on your device, whether it's phone, iPad, Chromebook, laptop, computer, etc. I think I covered all my bases there. You can download books that are audiobooks and ebooks for free, which is really cool. We're going to use that a lot this year. I know some of you are already like, oh no, reading. It's all right. I'm going to turn you over to the dark side. Just wait. Okay, so parent help, parents, if you need help, obviously, um, this link has lots of different resources to help you out. You can always send me an email as well. Um, course Q&A. Hey, students, remember in the spring when you had questions every five seconds because uh, something wasn't clear or you weren't sure about something um, going on in online learning? Well, here is your new best friend. This is a it's basically an ongoing discussion board where you can ask questions. These are going to be where questions about specific things in the course need to be posted, more general things. Um, and I'll check this several times a day. So I'm going to go back to the home page here. Oh, I want to show you while I'm doing that. This is great practice. To go back to the home page, it, it is in that old tab. So I can just go back to the old tab. But you can also go to your navigation menu over here and click on home. And that'll take you back to the same place. If you're on a smaller device like a phone, you might need to click the menu button to be able to see the home button. Okay, so course Q&A. Students, what if you have a more personal question or a really, really specific question? As always, you can email me. Um, you can also uh, call if you want to, although you have to leave a voicemail because I can't tell who's calling you out of voicemail these days. Um, you can also message me in Campus. Finally, um, Last but not least, this is probably 
the most important thing on all of your Canvas sites. Your button here is for your learning modules. This is gonna be where you go to your daily assignments. You can also access modules, other than just clicking on that orange button with the pencil, you can also access your modules right up here where it says modules. They're gonna take you to the same place. So I'm about to click on learning modules before I do that and I take us off the home page. There's some other buttons down here, champs and expectations, just goes over a little bit more about the course, uh, what we're all about and how things are gonna work. And looking for a good book is currently under construction. It's gonna be where you can find book recommendations throughout the year. You can watch trailers, book talks, all kinds of cool stuff. So let's check out the modules. I wish that Canvas had called modules something else, maybe like sections, um, because Module's not really a word that we use in everyday English. It's kind of confusing. So let me show you what a module is. On yours, a module is going to have a gray heading, and everything is going to be underneath that. Um, so a module is going to be a section of work. It might have assignments in it, information. It might have quizzes, warm-up, like bell ringers, which aren't really bell ringers because there's no bell. <laughs> Reflections, exit tickets, all of those are going to be in your modules. The very first module that you're going to see in most of your courses is going to be your begin here module. This is not actually a module that has assignments in it. It's basically just to help you get acquainted with the course and your teacher. So you can click on any of these. Um, you can also access pretty much any of these from the home page too. So we're going to go ahead and skip past that and scroll on down. And this is where the magic happens. In some of your courses, your modules are gonna be an entire week. So this might say week one, and then underneath that it'll say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. For this course, your modules are going to be done by the day. It's just an easier chunk, I think, to look at. So every single day when you jump on ELAR, including today, Monday, well, if it is Monday, um, this is gonna be where you find all of your assignments and stuff. So the deal is, Every single day, you're gonna have an about today. After that, you'll complete a warm up that should take you no longer than one to two minutes. If it takes you longer than one to two minutes, I'm doing it wrong. After that, you'll see your learning objective and your mini lesson. Usually, this is gonna say what TEKS we're gonna be working on that day, and then it'll either have something to read or a video to watch, um, or it might even say no mini lesson today, just keep working on what you were doing yesterday. After you complete the mini lesson, you'll be able to work on the, um, the student work section. Every single day, the student work section is going to be different. The student work section is going to be an assignment that is due that day by 11.59 p.m. After you complete that and you click on the next button, um, you're going to go to your daily reflection. And the daily reflection usually takes anywhere from three to five minutes. I'm going to try and keep it right around three, no more than three. So let me just click on this really fast. You'll notice right now, I can't click on any of these grayed out things. That's because they're currently locked. To be able to do a module in English, you have to start at the top with the about today and then work your way through it. As you click, as you work your way through these and complete things, um, you'll be able to do that. So right now, the first thing you're gonna notice is that this page is locked right now. That's because this is not set to open until like that day. But as soon as you can see the about today, you're going to click on the next button. Your next button is usually going to be in your bottom right hand corner. On your phone, it's going to look like a little blue arrow to the side, in the bottom right hand corner. So you'll click next. As soon as you read over the about today, you'll be able to click next and it'll take you to your warm up. Right now, it says you have to make sure you complete the about today. A prerequisite means that you have to do something before you can do this page. Um, I don't think you guys are going to have a problem with this because by the time you get to this page on Monday, it's going to be open. So no worries. All right. So I'm going to go back to modules by clicking the module button. So on Monday, all of these things are due. I know it looks like a lot right now, but I want you to think of them as just basically like ways to organize um, your daily progression. So the about today should take you 60 seconds. The warm up each day will take you one to two minutes. The learning objective and mini lesson each day should take you between five to 10 minutes. The student work will take you usually around 20 minutes. The reflection will take about three minutes. That's pretty normal. Um, so not all of these are really like big long things to do. 
What if you get to something where a link doesn't work or it's not letting you access something? Please, please, please go to your home. And then I want you to scroll on down and I want you to go to the course Q&A, click on that and then write down any of those concerns that you have and I'll be able to answer there, answer, with, answer to you there as well. Um, you can also send me a message in Canvas. Obviously, it says access denied right now because I'm not a real student. <laughs> I'm a fake student because I'm in student view. But if you go to your inbox, that's where you can actually like send me a message about like what's going on. I think there's another way to access it. Excuse me. But I'm not sure which way it is right now. So as I find things out, I will get back with you and let you know. And I hope that um, our first week runs smoothly. But of course... This is our first time doing this, so please be patient with us, and I promise we'll be patient with you too. This is definitely a, uh, a journey for all of us. Um, so I think that's it. Thank you for listening. I'll see you guys on the interwebs. All right, bye for now.